Lambert Outdoors here, and we are going to be trying out a ground blind. Usually we hunt from tree stands, however this year is a little bit different uh, just because um, as you see right over here, uh, we got a bunch of dirt right here from us digging out the pond. Uh, so kind of pushed off our area where we hunt from the tree stand a little bit, so we're just going to use a, a pop-up blind. I've used these in the past, but not recently. We're talking like a decade ago. So I went out and bought a new one. This is the Guidesman Pop-Up Blind 60 by 60. Here's a picture of it. Okay. Uh, and it says, it's durable, spring steel frame, mesh, shooting windows on three sides, full length, zip up door, no assembly require, required. And then it shows a guy carried it on his back, like you can actually fit it back in the back. Now, I will tell you, I've tried these things before, and I have never got them back in the back. So I'm really hoping that this one is different. Here is the fancy little bag here. So I'm actually going to go hunt now this tomorrow morning. So this is going to be uh, a review video, and it's going to be pretty, uh, um, well, it's going it's to be, does it work? Uh, and I'm gonna spray it down with scent free stuff because it is brand new straight from the store So it probably has weird scents on it. Um, let me get this uh, I Tied it shut here on me There we go Now it should pop right up Whoa, Jesus, I actually should have looked at it to see how it Was uh, put together so it looks like these are just it's actually pretty big it's just gonna be me in there for a few days and then when it's Kyler's turn I'll move two chairs in there so the shoot windows is a uh, so it does have a big door which is good and usually what I'll do is I'll leave it open um, overnight uh, and then go in and then zip it up behind me. The shoot windows is basically just a slit in the screen. I'm not a huge fan of that because I shoot a crossbow and uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to pull that screen apart and keep it apart. Maybe it's in the directions here. Let's read the directions and we'll get back to you. So also in the bag is two tent pole things and they just go right across the top and hook in to lift this part up right here. Um, just like a tent. So we're gonna get this installed real quick and then we're gonna show you like the finished product and uh, we'll show you what I'm gonna do about the windows too. All right, so we got the finished product in here. We're gonna go in. And I know I said I would leave the back door unlocked, but it's right, right now it's really hot and I don't want it full of mosquitoes and I already have this open, so. So what I did is I just took two small bungee cords and I ripped it from here to here and I opened that up. Um, if I had a fixed blade uh, broadheads, I wouldn't mind shooting through this stuff after I practiced with it, but I have Rage, that's what I use. And so this is our view right now. Um, game camera right there. So maybe we'll show some pictures of uh, the deer out there, but this is it. Yeah, what do you guys think? Pretty nice. You can see the uh, the tent part right there. Those just go into the corners. They cross just like a tent, like I said. And then I did stake it down a little bit because I live in Ohio where high winds and crackheads are everywhere. So I don't want it walking off or getting blown away. So let's go look at it from the outside here. Not a bad little uh, pop up. How much did I pay for this? 50 bucks from my local Munard store. And we are going, the ultimate test is if this will actually go back in a backpack. Because I would love to take this to like Southern Ohio and hunt on some public lands. It is a nice size. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it with some scent stuff. And then uh, you may see it tomorrow in action. Um, also, uh, we're going to be finishing a review on it.
All right, we're going to take this apart now. We're going to see how easy it is to put back in the bag that it came out of. It says we're starting with the two poles that go across the roof here and the inside. So good, but this is always where I get caught up with these uh, types of things. So supposedly you turn it sideways like this. We're going to pause this and we're going to read the instructions again to see if we can get this to fold uh, up. After like six tries, I finally got it in a circle. I'm not going to undo it and redo it again uh, because that'd be insane. Usually, with these things, I'll put them up at the beginning of the year. <laughs> and not take them down on purpose. I've even been known when these when these types of things first came out to uh, just pull it out of the ground and bring it to my barn and put it up in the barn and leave it up. Like a playhouse for your kids. So we're putting in the stakes and then the instructions and there we go. It barely fits back in the bag so let's oh i forgot this those the roof things let's get into the review now okay we are here to review the uh the guide the guidesman pop-up blind 60 by 60. this is uh supposed to be a one person stand dimensions 60 by 60 the square part the bottom and then 67 inches high at top height, which it's arced like a uh, um, like a circle at the top. So uh, don't expect to stand up all the way. Uh, let's go ahead and get a review now. So it worked. Um, the zipper is very loud. Uh, I don't know if there's any products that have quieter zippers or anything like that, but the zipper on it is extremely loud and uh, I don't, know if, I don't know if there's anything to do to fix that. Um, so on some times when we went hunting, I would go out the night before and unzip it. Um, that way you would only get one zip when you're hunting, which is the zip back down. Um, that seemed to help a little bit, um, but I only could do that on days that I knew we were gonna be hunting the night before uh, or the next day. So uh, I only did it a few times. Uh, my son used it more than me because I shot a deer earlier in the season and he stayed out longer um, trying to get a buck and he really liked it because it kept him out of the weather. So wind coming in from the side, you only had the mesh uh, on the three sides, but um, it actually stopped quite a bit of the wind inside the igloo. Um, also, it kept rain from hitting you and snow. So it would like there was a few times we went out there and there was probably like two inches of snow on top of it uh, where we had to get it off there so it wouldn't collapse. Um, but rain, it'll stop the rain from hitting you. And uh, overall, for the price, 
pretty decent product. I will say the durability of it, I can already see where there's a few holes worn, where the, the corners are of the dome part, uh, where the poles go in to keep the uh, roof on. Um, those corners seem to be a little worn, probably where wind was uh, rubbing the pole onto the tent uh, material. So, uh, so probably this is like a two year product. If you do what we do, which is just keep it out, for the hunting season as of right now. Um, ease of use, um, as far as setting up, super easy. As far as taking down and folding it up, it's not easy. Like you have to read the directions several times unless you're like uh, manic mechanically inclined or engineer minded. Um, those people I think would probably be able to figure it out and keep it in their head. Uh, but like a redneck who's like, not, um, it's not easy. Uh, so I have seen the ones where basically they uh, fold up to like a big square and then they kind of fold in half and then they kind of wrap around like a tent. I think that's, that'd be uh, easier, but I do know that those are more expensive. So I don't think that's an option right now. So overall, uh, let's give it a score. Zero being the worst, 100 being the best. I'd give this a score of Mm, I would probably say zero being the worst, 100 being the best. I'd say probably about a 70. So um, not the worst product I've ever used. Definitely not the best. However, it did do the job. Uh, I shot my deer out of it. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. So, yep. Yep. There you go. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. Um, sh watch our other videos. Like, subscribe. Share this video, share the channel, that's how the channel grows. And thanks, and go outside. God bless.